This video covers installation details of Thermon's Terminator ZP, FAK4, and ZP FAK4 L kits, for inline splice or power connection of electrically heated tube trace bundles. Receiving, storing, and handling. Inspect materials for damage incurred during shipping. Report any damages to the carrier for settlement. Identify parts against the packing list to ensure the proper type and quantity have been received. And, store in a dry location. Use the supply dimensions for the Terminator ZP. FAK4 and 4L kits to ensure adequate space is available for proper installation. A Thermon PETK kit is required for power and end terminations of electrically heated tube trace bundles. One kit is needed per heater and must be ordered separately. These are the recommended tools for installation of the Terminator ZP, FAK4 and 4L kits. Individuals installing these products are responsible for complying with all applicable safety and health guidelines. Proper personal protective equipment, or PPE, should be utilized during installation. Contact Thermon if you have any additional questions. Remove the outer jacket and insulation from the end of the tubing bundles. Caution, do not cut heat trace while removing bundle insulation. Ensure a minimum of 457 mm or 18 inches of heat trace is available for electrical connection. Separate heat trace from tubing and bend 90 degrees. For self-regulating heat trace, trim tubing to within 38 to 76 mm or 1.5 to 3 inches of end of insulation. For zone type heat trace, strip back bundle insulation 38 to 76 mm or 1 and 1 half to 3 inches beyond bus connection indentation. If bus connection indentation is less than 305 to 381 mm or 12 to 15 inches from end of heat trace, proceed stripping bundle insulation to next indentation. Make tube fitting connections with appropriate fittings. Provided by others. Test fittings for leaks before proceeding. Wrap tubes and heat trace with one pass of heat reflective tape with 25% overlap. Then, wrap with three passes of glass fiber tape with 50% overlap or until fiber tape is equal to original bundle insulation thickness. Complete with one additional pass of heat reflective tape. Trim the Terminator ZPF AK4 or 4L cover halves to match the outside diameter of the tubing bundle. Attach the expediter base with O-ring to the FAK4 or 4L base using 3M5 screws and lock washers. Apply RTV sealant to both halves of the FAK4 or 4L cover. Cut heat trace at a 45 degree angle to aid in piercing grommet inside expediter. Leave a minimum of 180 mm or 7 inches from the expediter. Join the FAK4 halves and secure with 8 pan head screws and nuts.
cut heat trace at a 90 degree angle. Terminate the heat trace with the appropriate PETK termination kit. Refer to the PETK instructions for details not addressed here. For power connection applications, use dimple molded into side of junction box base to drill hole for user supplied power connection fitting, per manufacturer's recommendations. Mount junction box on expediter. Align slots to properly orient the junction box base. Tighten nuts securely. Install user supplied power connection fittings and pull in power and ground wires. Install the quick mount terminal block, twist to position and tighten screws. Complete system wiring between fabricated heat trace and power supply wiring. Install the junction box lid and twist hand tight. Insert a screwdriver into the ratchet slot located on the side of the junction box base to tighten. The lid will rotate 30 degrees. To remove the lid, repeat in opposite direction. Completed Terminator ZP, FAK4, and ZPFAK4 L kit for inline splice or power connection of electrically heated tube trace bundles. For additional information on this product, visit us on the web at thermon.com.